what up in this video i'm gonna show you everything that i have so it's basically like a game room tour all my collections um after nearly collecting for 10 plus years the reason i'm making this now is because when i started with the youtube videos everything was really unorganized there were a bunch of boxes lying around if you watch that nintendo collection video it kind of like gives you like impression of everything looked but um, over the last two years, I organized and displayed everything the way I really wanted. And uh, I still have more stuff in boxes, but this is how everything looks so far. And you can leave in the comment section your thoughts about how you like it or not. So, all right, I'm not gonna show you each game individually like I usually do in my collection videos. It's just gonna be a quick overview of all my collections. I'm gonna mention a few things and then uh, gonna show you also some stuff that you haven't seen before in my collection video so we're gonna start with the ps2 collection which is at the moment my favorite video game collection i really love to collect for the ps2 i just think i have a little bit of everything from fighting games adventure games rpg horror games and sports games which is kind of unusual because uh, people who collect those retro games they always mention sports are filler games not worth much and i think but sports is actually my favorite genre and actually made me really passionate about games in the first place especially the konami franchise which is known as pro evolution soccer winning 11 on ps2 so uh, yeah uh, I put my games, this is something that I've seen a lot in the comment section in poly bags to protect the game from dust and dirt and keep them as fresh as possible uh, because I really like them to buy them clean or in very good condition like this which obviously requires a bit more patience and a handful of cash more here and there but it's just um, in the long run I just have way more fun like that and uh, I really can give you a store where I buy them, but if you look for, if you look on eBay or Amazon, AliExpress, Etsy, etc., and you just put like protective sleeves, PS2 or PS3, whatever, they will pop up. I think a hundred pieces cost like 10 bucks. So yeah, they're actually pretty cool. They will not protect your game from UV sunlight damage, but you know, if you live in a house and you have some water issue, at least they stay dry, right? So this is the North American collection. Um, here is the Japanese collection, which I have mostly Pro Evo at Winning Eleven. Um, got also the South Korean versions, which is a bit harder to find. But I also have some exclusive uh, fighting games never been released in the West, like Garuda and Fist or Twist. Got that Fist of the Nostar game. I don't know how to pronounce that. I just call it Fist of the Nostar game. Got some Neo Geo classics. Yeah. Here is my Paul collection, which includes again mostly Pro Evolution Soccer. But I also have some other games uh, like Fighting Fury. This is also never released in the North American region. It's, it's a Baki game, but it's just not really a good one. I also have Bomberman Hardball. This is a and do a bunch of Bomberman mini games. It's all right. Here I have a bunch of my duplicates, and I also have made some custom covers for, you know, those modified Pro Evolution games that the community is still making. And I really, really appreciate those guys. And um, here is my HDMI adapter that I that I used for a bunch of uh, years. I remember that uh, YouTubers were promoting this uh, Kaiko HDMI adapter as like a premium product, but uh, to be honest, I think this is just real regular <laughs> HDMI adapter uh, because uh, I really can't tell the difference between the other ones. But there is a difference and that is that this thing is probably more robust because every single time I bought one of those cheap ones, uh, they barely survived a month. So I still appreciate this one though. However, Sooner or later, people who collect retro games, they tend to go full retro mode and then grab themselves a CRT TV, which I also did. I totally get excited with this one. It's a bang and a loosen one. 
I made a YouTube video, was totally excited, and now I ended up having a love-hate relationship with this thing because it has a remote, it has a really, really dumb menu. And that remote, you need to do like a 10 10 hit combo to switch between the things. And it's kind of annoying. The pre-owner was um, a movie enthusiast and he watched a lot of movies. So the TV is kind of set for movies and it can be sometimes a bit too dark, the picture. So I was thinking about resetting the TV, but to reset the TV, you have to take off this plastic here and there's another plastic with screws and then there's like two cables you have to put together and i'm telling you guys stealing a car is probably easier to reset this thing so yeah just grab any CRT TV really uh but yeah it's still what i love about this tv still is it has a, a really amazing sound system sound is really a 10 out of 10 so therefore i have some bunch of my old music cds here which one remembers this classic album right there? But of course, you guys want to see video games, so let's keep going with the video games. Here is my Dreamcast collection. It's just really a small collection, but I think I have mostly only top games, like the Crazy Taxi ones, Grandia Dude, Jet Set Radio, Jack Grind Radio, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which is a bit pricey these days, Code Veronica, Shenmue, Spawn, Time Stalkers, Zombie Revenge. Um, here is my North American collection, which is uh, like the Dreamcast, not that big, but mostly only dope games. Like um, Sabrina, the Teenage Witch, A Twitch in Time, or Silent Hill. Not as good as Sabrina, but maybe worth mentioning here. On top, I got a few boxes. Uh, like I mentioned before, I don't really have that much space. So I have actually way more limited edition consoles, but I don't have enough space to, 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 to display them all. So I just grab this stuff that I, uh, for the moment like this. I guess I'm more in a depressive mood since I have The Last of Us here. And um, this is also the Joel edition. I forgot to show this during my PS3 collection videos. It was in a different box but I do have the game. Um, the limited edition PlayStation 4 Pro. Up there is the Fortnite edition. I bought that in France, in FNAC. The WLF edition of uh, The Last of Us Part II Remastered, which I'm kind of disappointed because the stuff inside is just okay. Here's the long box of Resident Evil, the Yenja Kabayista box, and here is the Ezio Saga box from Japan. I really love the artwork, so therefore I bought that one. It's still brand new and sealed. There's a little history that I have with Assassin's Creed. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. This is pretty much the foundation of me becoming passionate about video games, uh, especially this game here. This really got me into video games. I spent hundreds of hours with this, got really addicted. A lot of people that are at my age, they always tend to say the, the same story. They got the NES, played Mario, and then totally got hooked. But when I played NES, I was totally overwhelmed. I guess I was a dumb kid, no idea. So, But during the Super Nintendo era, that really made me really passionate and fall in love with video games. I got the Final Fight Super Famicom case there. The MBHM Extreme, which I really loved back then. I played it on PC, therefore I have a PC version over there. If you watch my pick of videos, the the music is from that game, the outro music. I got here also Adventures of Batman and Robin. This is not a bootleg, this is actually an original one. I'm not sure if you can see the sticker. Can you see this? Official licensed product. Yeah, one of my favorite games from back then as well. And a game that I really loved also was Mega Man Soccer. I know people don't like this game much, but man, this is my favorite Mega Man game. I wonder why. Um, got a bunch of loose cartridges for the N64. This is how my basically collection hobby started. I'm gonna mention this also in a minute. But before that, let me go through the Xbox collection. I made a video not that long ago. Got a bunch of collector's editions. This Fallout bottle that is completely banged up is uh, 
I was in a Gamescom 2009 with a bunch of colleagues and we ended up really becoming friends and I really have a nostalgic thing with this. So not because I'm a die-hard die follow fan, it's just really because of that event that I just cannot get rid of it. Uh, here's the classic Xbox, which I, at the moment, I really, I really enjoy to collect at the moment. Bunch of more stuff here. Um, the 360. And here is my GameCube collection. I'm not really into GameCube much. It's just really, I bought it like years back just because of Mario, Stri Mario Strikers and the Twin Snakes remake. But uh, I stumbled across really good deals, um, like this, like this Sony game here. It costed me only five bucks. It's a, it's a dream to have it on Dreamcast. But um, yeah, I, got, I found it for GameCube. Surprisingly, I didn't even know this was uh, also available for GameCube. Found it for five bucks, no manual. But man, if you find deals like this, you don't ask questions. You buy it, right? So this is what I'm doing with GameCube, basically. And over the years, I have a. You know, a decent amount of games. All right, on um, the second shelf, this is the top. I have here my chainsaw controller. Uh, the here is the uh, Nintendo Switch with Tears of Kingdom design. The carrying case. Up here is the collector's edition. Here is like a brand new and sealed um, limited edition of Assassin's Creed. I'm not sure if you can see that. And uh, speaking of brand new and sealed Assassin's Creed, I have, uh, I've been collecting Assassin's Creed games uh, since the release of the second, I really became a that, uh, like an Assassin's Creed addict. And I've been collecting every game that came out, I bought an extra copy just to have it sealed. Um, bought also different variations like the special editions and also the UK special editions and they are brand new and sealed. And no, it has nothing to do with grading or so. It's just like, I don't know. I just really became addicted to that series, which I'm still kind of am because I still have the newest one, which is Mirage. It's also brand new. And I got all the additions also for Valhalla, Limited, Drakkar, Gold, Ultimate, and so on. There is also uh, a bunch of games that had Ezio as a guest character. I also have that one sealed. I also have this cool movie uh, because of the photo bomb of Deadpool. I just bought it because uh, I really like it. The movie itself is not that great though. But yeah, I was really into the franchise, or I'm still am. Back then it was crazy. I was, I was having the idea to get a tattoo in my forearm with the hidden blade and the logo. But similar to The Last of Us Part 2, people were doing this and kind of turned me off, so I didn't do it. Here's my N64 collection. Um, I have here the Japanese games to display because back then they were actually pretty cheap. I bought this one brand new actually for 25. And now it used costs like things like 40 or so. It's, it's really expensive. And behind those games, I got actually the games in my collection. Got a bunch of them. So this is how my collection started basically. I remember that I was playing No Mercy emulated and uh, every single time I kicked somebody out of the ring, the emulator would start flicker. And I'm one of those guys who plays Royal Rumble with no disqualification. And it was kind of annoying. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna grab the original stuff. And uh, I grabbed, uh, I even have this uh, stunner pack here. You know, I have like the, um, Got No Mercy over there, WrestleMania 2000, a bunch of all the games. This is the last game that I added in my N64 collection. That was 2017. I, I paid for this game 75 bucks. And I was back then, that was I believe 2017. I just don't remember exactly when, but I remember it was like 70 bucks or so. And then I was like, man, this is so expensive. It is not fun anymore to collect. Little did I know how much worse it will become later, man. So yeah. And let me put the stuff here back again. Yeah, just basically like that. Here I have a little um, geek corner with comic books and my old movies. Some stuff I really still like to, to watch, like the history of trunks. I got the Ovas of Ronnie Kenshin. 
This is my favorite anime series of all times, The Legend of Zoro. I think in Japan it's called Keketsu Zoro. This is a childhood thing and a bunch of random stuff. And my favorite movie of all times, Bloodsport. Found this um, steel book, I don't know, man. Like, used somewhere. I just decided to grab it because it looks pretty cool. So, in the background, you can see I have just a few comics. Um, I really love Spawn and Lobo, those are my favorite ones. And uh, yeah, from time to time I grab a few, but not really super into that. Uh, the latest editions though, I must show you that because they look actually super clean, is the Invincible and with the Whatnot cover art. I got Eve, I got Mark and uh, I got Eve as well. And Eve looks amazing, man. It's art. Salmon. All right, down here I just have at the moment stacks of duplicates. I'm looking for a very expensive game at the moment, so I'm sorting out and I'm selling my games. I did that a bunch of times. Um, for example, when I grabbed Silent Hill 2, cost me 80, I sold a bunch of games first. Something I can recommend you eventually, just if you don't feel some games, just sold them out, you know, and just uh, get, grab games that you actually want to have, you know, because everything is kind of getting more expensive these days so here is my handheld collection i have a few ds 3ds games and my playstation portable collection which looks at the moment like this i haven't done a video because i'm not sure if this is a video worthy and i only have one physical game which is uh street fighter cross tekken it's brand new but yeah and uh, the, my psp collection looks like this at the moment so, yeah down there is my guide collection. I have mostly Assassin's Creed guides. Oh, this one is heavy. Um, from the first one, there's just one missing. I think it was Rogue. And I like to buy also some other guides, but guides are very expensive. They can cost you up to the double amount of what the game actually costs. So here's the original faceplates on my PS5. I exchanged them with custom made ones. I think I showed them in a video. And in those boxes, I actually have um, I actually have um, sleeves from games because they will take too much space if I put them in shelves. So, yep. And the last shelf is uh, on top again. My consoles here. I got the Dreamcast, Sega Master System 2. I don't have any games for this console though. Um, Xbox 360 and Gears of War design. Uh, my Super Nintendo Mini. I have a bunch of ROMs in it, you know, it takes like a five minutes to boot up, so <laughs> I, I totally messed up that thing. So it's just there for decoration, I guess. In the background, you can see the PlayStation Vita box. Not not that much in the Vita. I know a lot of people say it's underrated, but for me, I don't know. I just think it was always more of a... It gave you more PS2 ports and inferior PlayStation 3 versions, so that's why I was never really into that. My PlayStation 2 box with the Metal Gear Solid logo and the PlayStation 2 Slim with Pro Evo 5 logo. Here's my PS5 collection at the moment. It's just like uh, so far everything I have. I have my PS5 since the very release. I got a pre-order and this is everything I have so far. I got really into steelbooks at the moment. I grabbed a few like the medium. I got here also Guardians of the Galaxy. Oops, Guardians of the Galaxy. Got here a Strange of Paradise, Valkyrie Illusion, and I got this empty one with uh, Crisis Core Reunion. So yeah, everything I have so far on the PS5, PS4. I bought most of my stuff really used. I have my PS4, I believe, since 2015. Bought that one with the Metal Gear Solid 5 Limited Edition one. And yeah, I, I grabbed from time to time um, brand new games like uh, God of War or so, but the rest were just really, I added them mostly used. I don't think I have a lot of expensive stuff in general. Uh, maybe this game here, Blue Reflection. It costs you a uh, use, I believe 60, 70 or even 80, depending on what region you live. Because it pops out in every hidden jam, obscure game recommendation video. But let me tell you something from someone who played all the Italia games. This game is not that great, but try to find a JRPG 
game on YouTube that is not mentioned underrated. Good luck with that. Here at the moment, my PlayStation 3 is the most popular video collection, video game collection series. Um, I know it's a mess because uh, the region, uh, region codes are totally all over the place. I got some piggy and then you suddenly you see like a US game. Uh, then you have here like a Japanese collection game as well. And then um, there are even games you can't even read. <laughs> At least not me. Um, yeah, but I don't know. It's just like, uh, it's a bit chaotic. I guess just like the owner. Um, one of my favorites is NCAA 14. I really love this one. This one has become really expensive. I don't know why. You know, it's a sports title and yeah. Pro Evo again. So yeah. And here is at the moment my setup, how everything. Uh, I have my PS2 juiced up, ready to go at the moment. You see here, Leon is still waiting. Uh, my N64 with the one and only. Um, I got my Xbox 360 here. Usually I have my Dreamcast juiced up there, but I tried a few Xbox 360 games. This is the American model. I have also a Japanese one, but that one is totally fried. I don't think this will work anymore. Here's my Xbox Classic. There's a game that I picked up not that long ago, MLS Soccer. So you're not gonna see this in my next pickup video. So um, yeah, uh, so that's it. Everything I have, all my collections. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Like I mentioned before, I have a few more stuff also still in boxes, but I don't really have that much space as you can see here. So yeah. All right, thanks for watching the video and I might see you next video. Thank you, bye.